Here are three ways you can enjoy a treat and minimize your blood sugar levels from spiking. Okay, let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna be aware of is getting good sleep. If you know that you are going to be having some treats and indulging in some sometimes food or some sometimes treats, then you can definitely control the amount of shut eye you get. So really pay attention to getting good sleep and enough sleep because this helps you with your insulin sensitivity. And if you are sleep deprived, it can be problematic in terms of insulin resistance. So we know that good sleep has a lot to do with helping regulate healthy blood sugar levels in the body. The second thing you can do is make sure you load up on fiber, on nutrient-dense foods that are satiating. So for me, those are things like avocado, nuts and seeds, salmon, so getting in some healthy fats and protein, and fiber. So I am someone who likes to eat a lot of veg. I'm talking like two to three cups at least. Um, and I will fill my plate 75% with veggie because I know that for me, that allows me to feel sated and not wanting to reach for things that I don't want to be reaching for. Um, we don't even really have that at the house. So that's what I like to do. So really making sure you line your stomach with fiber before you indulge in those treats. So let's say, for example, you're going to have some Halloween candy. Make sure that you eat a salad with some protein beforehand so that you can really make sure that your gut is prepared to ingest that sugar. <laughs> if again, that is something that you want to get right? And again, with the treats, it's all about figuring out the right balance, but also the correct order. So definitely don't have your candy before having your fiber. Make sure you get your fiber in before the candy. So in that order, fiber and then candy, if you're going to have candy. All right. And the third thing that you can do to help minimize blood sugar from spiking is one of my favorite things, which is a postprandial walk. Now, this is basically something that you can even do at home. There are times when I might feel too tired to go outside, but I had a pretty intense meal, like maybe it was a little too uh, indulgent, or maybe I just feel like I had something that could potentially have spiked my glucose. Again, you can't be 100% sure unless you have a CGM because different foods are gonna spike your blood glucose depending on you as an individual. For some people, oatmeal spikes glucose. For other people, brown rice spikes glucose. So it really just depends on you. And again, there's no real way of tracking that unless you have a continuous glucose monitor that you wear right on your tricep continuously. That's the only way to really truly track what foods spike your glucose. However, we know definitively that sugar is a huge major culprit in glucose spikes. So that is pretty much universally across all human beings. We know that sugar spikes glucose. So if you are listening to this video and you really want to have sugar, then make sure you do these three things. So the last one that we talked about was the postprandial walk. At home, you can do this by just jogging in place. I like to do this if I'm watching some something, maybe like a YouTube video, if I'm watching a documentary or a TED talk, or maybe a series. Uh, right now I'm finishing up You, which is perfect for Halloween. And that's just a great way to make sure that you minimize the impact of the glucose spike. And so try to do this immediately after eating the candy or the sugary treat or whatever you think spiked your glucose or you know for a fact spiked your glucose if you're wearing a CGM, like I said. So even just 20 minutes is going to suffice. Like I said, you can jog in place. You can also go out for a walk. Try to have it be a brisk walk because that'll be more beneficial to you in terms of minimizing the glucose spiking from happening. Okay, so that's it. Those are the three tips. I hope that you enjoy your treat. I hope that you eat it mindfully and that you are 
really enjoying every morsel. Um, and keep in mind that when you are, you know, doing something like um, trying to minimize your blood sugar from spiking, try not to obsess over it. There are just things like parameters that you can set so that you don't have to feel like you're off track. And again, if it's a sometimes thing, then it's not going to be a huge deal. If it's like every day that you're having blood sugar, glucose spiking foods, then maybe that's something to reevaluate in just in terms of longevity. But again, you do you and you can decide for yourself. Those are three tips that will help minimize those blood sugar spikes. All right, be well, be healthy, be safe, and I will see you in the next Ignite Fit. Bye for now.